Hi, I'm Patu from Free Fincal. There are so many people who do not understand how the marginal tax slab system works. They keep saying, oh, I'm in the 30% slab, so I, I pay uh, 30% tax. No, you do not. Just because you are in the 30% slab does not mean you automatically pay 30% tax. Of course, it depends on how much you earn. But for most people, unless they are like uh, super high income earners, they do not pay uh, the 30% tax. So let's take a look at how this works. So let's take a look at the slab rates. And these are the slab rates uh, currently applicable. So up to 4 lakhs, it's nil. And from uh, for income exceeding 4 lakhs, up to 8 lakhs is 5%. For income uh, exceeding 8 lakhs to 12 lakhs is 10%. Of course, you must uh, recognize that there is a rebate. So for... Um, non-salaried an income of up to 12 lakhs is completely tax-free and for the salaried there is a standard deduction of 75,000 so up to 12.75 lakhs including the standard deduction is completely tax-free. Uh, beyond that income exceeding 12 lakhs to 16 lakhs uh, is taxed at 15 percent so the only the additional income is taxed the income about 12 lakhs up to 16 lakhs is taxed at 15 percent and so on. You can see the slab rates. So only the income above 24 lakhs is uh, taxed at 30%. So let's see how this works. So at Free FinCal, uh, we have a free uh, new tax regime versus old tax regime calculator. I've been updating it for the past few days. Uh, it was uh, started by a user. I, I then uh, made modifications for it. Uh, it was started by a reader. I made modifications for it. And then other people have also jumped in and added things and so on. So what, what you're seeing now is a slightly modified version. I'm just for the sake of this video. So I want to, um, let's take a salaried guy. Are you salaried? Yes or no? So you have to enter yes or no here. Uh, let's not worry about the tax deductions and so on. Um, I Because we are, we are in the new tax regime. It makes no, old tax regime does not make sense for most people it is the new tax regime so don't be obsessed with uh, tax savings and so on it's not a point so let's take a look at this um let's say my annual uh income is 25 lakhs now if you see this this is uh the tax to be paid is three lakhs nineteen thousand eight hundred three lakhs nineteen thousand eight hundred out of twenty five lakhs is just 12.8 percent it is not 30 percent it is only 12.8 percent people use abuse this 30 percent oh i'm in the 30 percent slab i am paying 30 percent tax no you're not paying 30 percent tax you are paying only that much it will tend to be uh, higher it will of course the uh, effective tax to be paid the effective tax rate will tend to grow higher and higher as your income increases and it will tend towards asymptotically towards the uh 30% slab as I'll show you now. But this is the key point for most people watching. It is extremely important. And as regards tax saving, I think we should stop thinking about tax. We should stop thinking about saving tax. We should stop, stop. unless we do that. I think wealth will not be built because it is a kind of shackles that, you know, drags people down. Every time they want to soar, it just drags them down. Just forget about tax. I keep, like I always say, tax is the peanuts I toss towards the government on the way to becoming a multi crorepati. For me, 12.79% for a person uh, earning 25 lakhs is a small amount. I don't care because what do what will I do if I care about it? I can't do anything about it. So since I cannot do anything about it, I choose not to worry about it. And I look forward and worry about what my lifestyle is and where I invest it. So uh, that aside, it is factually incorrect to say you are paying 30% tax. Most people do not. Most people do not. Some people will do. Let's increase this to 50 lakhs. So in the new tax regime, even a guy earning 50 lakhs only gets to pay 10 lakhs 99,800. That's 22%. Right? So let's make it now 100 lakhs. That is one crore. So now at 1 crore, you can see it is now 29,25,780. It is 29.26%. Now it has become 
basically effectively about almost 30%. So as the income increases, it tends to that. But for most people, the marginal tax lab will mean that just because you are in the 30% slab does not mean you're going to pay 30% tax. Of course, yes, there are some people, but how many people earn one crore a year? Not very many, right? And I don't think they'll be watching the, this channel anyway. Uh, so this is, I mean, my, my point is that please stop obsessing about tax. I think it's, it's just dragging you down and not thinking about the long term and not thinking about uh, becoming uh, a crorepati. So just while we are here, I'll just quickly show you this uh, uh, calculator. So you can see the calculator and how it works. And um, so this gives you all the, yeah. So this gives you the slabs, slab rates and how it works and how for each slab the taxation gets added. So for example, let's go back to 25 lakhs. 25 lakhs income, 75,000 is a standard deduction. So the effective tax taxable income becomes 24,000, 25, uh, 24 lakhs, 25,000, removing the 75,000. And then up to four lakhs is uh, no tax. Uh, income exceeding four to eight lakhs uh, is, as I mentioned earlier, is taxed at 5%. So that's 20,000 and then it is 10% uh, for 8 lakhs to 12 lakhs and then 15%. So that is 40,000, 60,000 for 15%, then 20% and then there is uh, uh, 1 lakh and the uh, amount exceeding 24 lakhs is 30%. So the actual 30% taxation is only for the amount exceeding 24 lakhs and that is 7,500. So the total tax uh, is 3,7,500. Then you have to add the surcharge and then you have to add the marginal relief and then you have to add the cess. If you put that all inside, it is 3,19,800, which is what I had mentioned here. And then 3,19,800 divided by 25 lakhs is 12.8%. So it is, um, uh, of course, the point is, um, there are two aspects here. One is the technicality, which I just mentioned. The other is, I. I think we should stop complaining about taxes. Of most people will not listen. They'll give me a lot of, uh, 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 you know, criticism for this in the comments. But I am very, very strongly of the opinion that once you accept the fact that taxation is there and you can't remove it and the tax laws keep changing, and once you think past that, then it's once you get that acceptance, uh, like they say the fourth stage of grief or the fifth stage of grief or whatever. Once you go past that, you will be able to think forward to growing wealth and investing better. Thank you. Bye-bye.